everyone, it's Sheila here from Mount Washington Alpine Resort with your weekly video update. I'm standing here in front of beautiful Raven Lodge with our Nordic manager, Mark. And Mark, I know there's lots of stuff that goes on down here in Nordic, and I know there's cross-country skiing and snowshoeing, but can you tell me the difference, what is the difference between skate skiing and classic skiing? So classic skiing is your traditional, like you're walking and striding and gliding in the tracks. And then skate skiing is like ice skating, you're gonna push off to the side. Um, if you wanna go ski and just look around at the scenery, classic's the best way to go. And if you're looking for a workout, skate skiing is the best way to go. It yep. seems like it's a good workout. I've been watching everyone go and it seems like a good cardio. It is a very good cardio. And if you haven't done it before, we have lessons and all the gear you need in our rental department. Oh, nice. And so there's also snowshoeing, obviously. And I'm wondering, is that someone, like a kind of beginner take that? Or is it an advanced person that needs to go snowshoeing? No, if you hike in the summertime, you can come down and hike just like you would uh, in the summertime on snowshoes in the Strathcona Park and around the Centennial Loop. Additionally, you have a really awesome snowshoe fondue. Yeah, so the snowshoe fondue happens on Friday and Saturday evening. It's a one hour snowshoe starting at five, goes until six, and then a three course fondue meal after that. That sounds like a pretty cool experience actually. Something pretty unique in the winter. It's time. nice to get out and enjoy the, the winter wonderland we have up here. Yeah, totally. And then you've got an event coming up, a big event for the year. Yeah, so our 34th annual Vancouver Island Loft that happens on April 1st. This year they're adding a snowshoe lake for the people that don't ski. So there's the regular Loppet, which is a long distance cross country ski race, and then they're adding a snowshoe lake for those people that oh. want to come up and participate in it too. And can you can you watch it as well? Or? Yeah, there's lots of great viewing of watching the big mass start. There'll be 150 plus people in the start, and watching all those skiers take off at once is pretty exciting. Wow, awesome. So if you want any information on the Loppet, go to the strathconanordics.com. And you know what, that's it for us, so we'll see you next week.